Nicaragua. At Bayou Land Seafood, it's crawfish season. They're more beautiful on the outside than the inside. This year, they expect to sell more than 4 million pounds of peeled and boiled crawfish. The day before, they were real empty, but today they're, they're going to have a better yield. For Elaine Hardy and other employees here, it's quite a change from just a couple of years ago when cheap imported crawfish from China almost drove Bayou Land out of business. Eventually, I mean, we would have been out of job if they were kept on with that cheap meat. In fact, the cheap Chinese crawfish was selling for as much as $5 a pound less than their domestic cousins. The Chinese crawfish hurt us from day one. Businessman Roy Robay says he just couldn't compete. I mean, there's no way we can process, buy, process, and produce meat. Not even half price of what they can do. Roma says Congress saved the Louisiana crawfish industry and thousands of jobs when it placed a tariff on imported Chinese meat this summer. Now the two sell for roughly the same price. At the peak of the season, this shop alone will employ more than 90 people. For many of these people, it's a good way to make a little extra money. And that makes peelers like Harold Pate happy. You can peel, peel 50 pounds a day in good profit, all at 20 bucks, so it pays pretty good. I'm Arvin McGraw, Channel 2 News.